Hello, good day, and welcome to today's daily educational video here at Forex.academy. I am your host, Robert Blackwell, and I have the pleasure today to walk you through your daily education. Before we do so, please consult the following disclaimer there is risk involved in trading the financial markets. And the content of today's daily education, we're going to discuss trading the engulfing Marabozo candle. Okay, trading the engulfing Marabozo candle, those large candlesticks that greatly outweigh the previous price action and look for continued trading opportunity. So to go through this, let us consult the trading platform of our JFX trading account. And of course, we have something significant here in the FTSE 100 that I'd like to discuss. Okay, in terms of the overall construct of the market, we look at the daily price action. What do we see? How do we look for technical confluence in this market to suggest that price action is looking to trade in one particular direction? Well, we can see this is the all time high in the FTSE and this candlestick projects the highs, tells us that this market does not want to trade up. Then we get the continuation with the bearish structure here. And again, the question time is now, what do we do in terms of trading the candle intraday perhaps, or, or looking for future price momentum? It's bearish on the day, and as we look across the equity markets in their entirety, we can look at the French 40, slightly bit bearish on the day. The US market's just pulling back from highs. The Spanish was strong off the open, but is of course pulling back from highs. So let's go back. We start to build a picture over uh, the correlative equity market to see where we can find momentum. But what we see here is a technical structure here in the short term. If we zoom in on our 30 minute price action chart, Let's observe simply what we see in front of us and look to trade off such. Now, what we see here is effectively the market trying to trade up and being pulled back again to lows. The market then showing some strength, reversing, but again, just to nominal levels as previous. Then we see it start to trade up again. But when it does so, you can see the level of volatility is a little higher, just given the, the candlestick structure. And again, we see a, quite a retrace from the high of the body of this candle to close on a high then we see this is our clue candle here this is our bearish engulfing marabozo candle why is that so guys well let us consult the variance of price action here if we take the high of this candle and zoom across the relative perhaps the last 14 day trading uh, periods we can see it greatly outweighs the significance of all of those periods guys and that gives us a signal that this market looks to trade lower. So simply what we may do as a trade is look to actually get involved in this market in the short term. Again, if we go to new order, perhaps we look at, at a stop loss here in around our last corrective high. I would say it would be around 77.33. So I'll place it and then I'll talk through the trade here. We have a, a short, we'll look to short this market as is now. Stop loss at 77.33 and we'll place that market trade. Okay, so you can see, guys, we're entering the market now based off the structure of the candlestick here. The market has to do quite a bit in terms of retracement to pull back to this levels. And again, it has to break our last corrective high of this market to actually break up through this level to give us an invalid signal. Again, breaking these levels again to say, well, this market is actually looking stronger than it first laid out. And again, in terms of the technical structure of the high and low of the actual bearish engulfing candlestick, really the market has to retrace up to half of the level of the bearish candlestick to look to get us out of this trade. So it has to do a lot of work to actually push us out of this particular trade. So we're starting to see this market actually stack up in the short term. Let us zoom out to see how this stacks up you can see there's a lot of volatility again. And the last time this market actually traded up to these highs here, it actually looked to trade quite consistently to the downside. Again, so that is something quite significant in terms of looking at the consistency of this move. Again, perhaps we're looking for something similar. And again, if you're a price action trader or a technical trader, you know, guys, that these markets simply are a consequence of price pattern of past market repetition. It can often move in the same structure. So that is a simple technical trade that we'll look to take. And again, the overall idea of this market in the short term is to look for that momentum. 
But if we build in the overall picture again, looking out on the trade, perhaps look at the four hour candlestick. Guys, what does that tell us in the four hours? Perhaps if we wanted to change the overall risk in the trade and we really believe that we want to give it more room, but this market has a lot to go to the downside, what we could do is simply look to clear these highs. The market would have to do a lot of work, i.e. break this high, break this high, and break this high to show us that this is a strong market, okay? What we could look to do is simply change our stop loss by clicking and dragging above this candlestick here to look to actually place a stop loss. Again, that's a larger trade, but on the daily perspective, it has to do a lot and move our stop loss to new corrective lows, perhaps to break lows. And again, this is quite a long-term trade, so the profit on that trade could be something like 242 US dollars while only risking a, a potential of $96 on the trade. So it's a 2.5 to one risk award on the trade. Again, you can see what we've done there. We've developed an overall bearish cycle trade by simply observing and identifying the Moro Bozo candlestick structure in this particular price action. Again, sticking out like a sore thumb, there is our trade, guys. Clear as day in the price action, guys. This market opens and trades straight down to new lows, albeit you know, it comes back a few ticks, but that is our signal to get short this market. If we simply look over the overall duration of this trade, let me just observe this by bringing it closer to more relative price action. If we identify the largest candlestick in the last, let me see the last three days trading. So we're, we're discussing the 4th of June here to the 7th now. Again, the largest candlestick in this whole price action setup is our Golfian bearish Marabozo candle telling us perhaps this is the signal the market wants to trade only one way. So we've used some technical confidence there, guys, by simply looking at a signal, taking that signal on board, getting involved in the market again. We're trading the overall structure of the daily price action as well and looking for a burst to the downside by trading the Marabozo candle. And you can see these across all different asset classes as a price action trader. The better you are at identifying how significant this means for the particular asset or market you're trading, the better your trading will become for profit potential. So that brings us to the end of our daily education here discussing trading the engulfing Marabozo candle. Thank you very much for joining us here at Forex.academy. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.